In our reality, Richard Nixon was born on January 9, 1913 in Yorba Linda, California. He was the Vice President of the United States under Dwight D. Eisenhower and eventually became the President in 1969. In our reality, President Nixon was not known to have a foot fetish, but what if he did? Let's find out. Richard Nixon was born on January 9, 1913 in Yorba Linda, California. His mother worked at a shoe store close to his home and his father was a foot doctor called a podiatrist. He would spend a lot of his childhood with his mother at her job and his father would tell him stories about all the patients he treated. As he grew older into his teens and eventually into his 20s, he worked at the store to make extra money. He helped people find and try on many types of shoes, some too small, some too large, and some fit just right. Richard would stare transfixed as foot upon foot was inserted into tight little shoes. He would sweat and feel his body vibrating. The customers would ask if he was okay, and he would rush to the bathroom, assuring him that he was quite alright. His mother would always complain about the seat being sticky and damp. Richard said nothing. Soon, Richard took an interest in politics and would become a representative and then senator of California. While he was senator, Mr. Nixon took a fancy to a staff assistant named Gertrude. In 2003, Gertrude would recall on a radio broadcast that Richard would require her to be barefoot while she worked in his office. I didn't think anything of it, she said. I thought he was just a free spirit. In 1952, Richard married his first and only wife, Pat. He was quoted on a hidden tape found years after his death saying, Pat had the most luscious feet I had ever seen. They were a size 13, rough but supple in some ways. Like how you would see a beautiful Doberman. Cute, but could kill you if it wanted to. That's how I saw Pat's feet, and I was in love. By the time Richard had become president, the Vietnam War was in full swing. He had expanded the war by ordering troops into Cambodia in 1970, giving the feeling that the conflict in Vietnam would not be over anytime soon. But something happened to him on June 2nd, 1970. He was, sitting in the Oval <laughs> he was sitting in the Oval Office working on a new bill that would make killing hippies and Grateful Dead fans legal. Pat came into the office and sat on his desk facing him. Richard smiled. He knew what this meant. As his pants fell to the ground, Pat threw her legs up and rested her feet on his penis. She began pleasuring him with her feet. He looked at her in awe. He hadn't disclosed his foot fetish to her outright for the entire time he had known her, out of embarrassment. He had asked her to do certain things, however, like with Gertrude, that suggested he had an affinity for toes and heels and the like. As he was about to climax, she exclaimed, I've always known. Richard Nixon came, and the next day he ordered a full troop withdrawal from Vietnam and the surrounding regions as well as issuing a heartfelt apology for the Kent State Massacre, bringing him to tears on national television. Nixon became enamored with the hippie movement, and as such, attended many music festivals with his wife. He was no doubt in his element with so many bare feet strutting around. In 1971, he decriminalized LSD, as well as all psychedelics and even marijuana. In 1973, Apollo 18 became the first joint U.S.-Soviet Union space mission. U.S. astronauts, along with Soviet cosmonauts, landed on the moon on July 20th, 1973, the fourth anniversary of the first moon landing. President Nixon requested that all the astronauts and cosmonauts take pictures of their feet in front of the Apollo capsule's window, with Earth in the background. After serving two terms, Nixon passed the torch to President Jimmy Carter in 1977. In the years as former president, he founded the Shoes for All initiative an NGO focused on bringing shoes to underprivileged third world countries. Nixon and his wife grew old together, enjoying their peaceful existence, alongside Secret Service, of course, trying to make the world a better place. Eventually, his wife, Pat, died in 1993. There was no word from Richard for many days, but finally, two weeks after his wife's death, Richard was caught by media walking out of a pedicure appointment. All he said about his wife was that, she was my soulmate. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. If you want more slop, hit the wipe ass button. As always, I'm queer. Richard Nixon came. Richard Nixon came. Richard Nixon came. Richard Nixon came.